Beyond the Mic with Sean Dillon. We're joined on the start line by the unapologetic New York Times bestselling author with his latest tough love in your Facebook, Wise as Fuck. We welcome Gary John Bishop. Hi, thanks for having me. Let's go beyond the mic. Gary, there are people in this world who want everything handed to them. Why is success so hard? Um, you know, the, I think we spend a lot of time looking at other people. I think we, we spend a lot of time kind of seeing their pathway and often your pathway is unique to you. But as long as you have success as being the answer to the current life you have, I, th- I think you'll always experience it as being hard. How challenging is it for you to see people who want to give excuses rather than to take personal responsibility? Well, that's the problem. The excuses, they don't seem like excuses. It seems like, no, this is why I'm, it's not happening for me. If you, if you started to realize that every time you explain why you're at, where you're at, you'll, if you start to frame those things as excuses, you'll start to see that the way that you're trapping yourself and, and boxing yourself in. Now, why was writing this book so important to you to help people unscrew their life up? Yeah. Uh, you can't, unfortunately, you can't have somebody over your shoulder talking you through everything, every step you might make in life. You have to turn to something. There has to be something shaping you and guiding you when it comes time to deal with the toughest items of your life. And that's why it's important for people to develop themselves and to develop their own wisdom, a wisdom that they can apply to things. It might not give you an easy answer, but it will give you the answer. And it's, 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 I see it as my life's work to give people uh, uh, pathways and tools to empower what they're up to. Now, in your book, you have an assortment of fundamentals that people need to hear. The one I enjoy is fundamental number one, quote, when the responsibility for the quality of your life lies with anyone but you, you become the victim, unquote. How easy is it to not become the victim? It's such a trap because it, it's hard to see yourself. And, um, you know, sometimes you have to kind of turn yourself inside out to get your hands on the steering wheel. But that's what you need to do. If you keep making yourself react to life that happens, if you keep if you keep reacting in a way where you're underneath that thing, it's never going to go well. Responsibilities get nothing to do with blame and everything to do with having a say in how this turns out. Now, where can people find your Unfuck Nation podcast? Uh, everywhere you would get podcasts, Apple, Spotify, everywhere. And uh, I'm, I'm even out to cause a ripple there with that podcast and to use it to really deal with the kind of questions that I feel as if a lot of people won't deal with those questions or they're kind of hiding that from them. So we're going headlong right into the darkness in that, on that show. His book is Wise as Fuck, Simple Truths to Guide You Through the Shit Storms of Life. It's out now. You can uh, Also, you can get the audible version of it, which is uh, if you can suffer my Scottish transatlantic accent for four hours, <laughs> um, you'll, uh, you'll, uh, you can uh, obviously on Audible. Audible actually tends to be a really good medium for me, but, but everywhere you would find good books, you'll, you'll find wise as fuck. We're talking to Gary John Bishop beyond the mic. Gary, why do people ignore truth for what is convenient? Um, because it's uncertain and they don't think they can handle it. Time's running out. So it's time for the Rocky Nate eight random questions. Answer with the first thing that comes to your mind. There is no pressure. What one thing do you dread the most? Uh, writing. Favorite word? Fuck. Best invention ever made was? Uh, the printing press. Who's the person who motivates you the most? Uh, pers- uh, Martin Heidegger, the German philosopher. What's your lucky number? Seven. Now I gotta have to ask you this. Which is worse? NSYNC or Nickelback? Nickelback. What do you think people undervalue today? Love. And what did you have for breakfast? coffee best invention ever made was the printing press he dreads writing and thinks people undervalue love his latest book wise as fuck simple truths to guide you through the shit storms of life is out now our thanks to author gary john bishop for joining us today wonderful thank you for having me and that my friends is beyond the mic